Welcome back to Newsday. Thank you for staying with us. You are now tuned into live visuals from Asaba Delta State, uh, where we will now listen into the national anthem.
Communicate. Let me do an interview. Let me do an interview. Then I'll move. This is the model technical college. Asaba, and you can see the students are excited at the sight of seeing the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Al Haji Atiku Abubakar, and of course their governor, who is also the running mate to the PDP presidential candidate, that is Dr. Ifani Okowa. They are all peeping out from their classrooms. Maybe lectures a little interrupted by this occasion. It is the official commissioning. Okay, I also have by my side Olisa Ifejika, the chief press secretary to the Delta State Governor. Throw more light on this project. Yes, this project is the Model Technical School. The governor, our working governor, found that sometime across the country, technical education was de-emphasized. And in Delta, we decided to revive technical education. And in the 25 local government areas of Delta State, the governor said every local government must have a technical school. And he went about it. Now we have 19 already. This, what we are seeing here, is, is among the seven local government technical schools. That thank, we you, have. thank you very much. Um, His Excellency, the governor, is about to give a speech. very distinguished of our party and other guests who are here present with us today. Your Excellency, I welcome you to the second project due for commissioning today. It is one of the 10 model technical colleges that we started in the administration. When we came in 2015, we realized that technical education had taken a backstage and we didn't think that that was good enough for us. So we decided that we needed to uplift the level of the six existing technical colleges, and what we had to do was to do a total renovation of those six technical colleges and to equip them. And we called in the National Board for Technical Education and gave, finally received accreditation for all subject areas in the six technical colleges. Thereafter, we thought the need did arise for us to have one technical college in each of the other 19 uh, local governments that did not have one. So we first raised with 10 of the model technical colleges, of which three have been completed and are already in use. Students have been admitted. The other seven are in various uh, levels of completion. This is one of the examples of the technologies with the major building we are seeing right here containing the classrooms and uh, staff offices. Each of the technologies uh, seven, seven 
model technical laboratories with equipment for various trainings. They have boarding uh, facilities, and we also have uh, facilities, in-house facilities for accommodation for uh, the principal and other uh, senior uh, staff of the college. We have thought that there was a need to ensure that within our technical schools, they run all the subject areas that we run in secondary schools, both the arts and the sciences, at the uh, first uh, three years, and thereafter they will run the sciences and specialize in technical uh, uh, subject areas. This is thought to help them beyond uh, having secondary education to have uh, hands-on uh, knowledge on technical areas and for those who want to proceed to the universities, they, they, we have to encourage them to go into universities of science and technology. For those who want to go to the polytechnics, we we'll encourage them to do so. And for those who are not able to go on, because they already have uh, the knowledge and, and the hands-on training in technical areas, it is possible for them to uh, branch out and, and continue with their life because of the skills that they have acquired. You, if you're able to walk around the compound, we may not be able to do all that today. You find that every facility is provided for them, including facility for games and uh, their boarding facilities. Uh, the three that have started, uh, we, we, we have actually found that there are lots of students, even in the first year of intake, and it, 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 I believe that the facilities are already getting stretched out. They want to control the number of students that will be in each of the schools because wanted to remain model schools. So it is on this note that I would like you, sir, to come in to talk to your people and to commission uh, this model technical college, Asaba, and thereafter probably see uh, one of the classrooms and see one of the laboratories before we proceed to the other projects due for commission today. We want to welcome you, sir, to Delta State. Thank you, and God bless you, sir. Please be seated. Thank you very much. Please be seated. Your Excellency, Governor Okoa, Mrs. Okoa, our party chairman, Vice President Namadi Sambo, Your Excellencies, uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, uh, today is dedicated to commissioning a number of projects executed by our governor, Governor Okoa. As we were driving to this place, I tried to describe to him the kind of educational system that you had in the First Republic. Um, as you know, I come from the northern part of this country, and the kind of educational system we went through was such that there was no dropout in the educational system from bottom up. What do I mean? I mean the educational system was such that Okay, the brightest, you know, the brightest ones went to the university, the second brightest went to the university, and then the third went to the technical colleges, and then the last, but not the least, go to what we used to call then craft schools. In the craft schools, you are told either cattle breeding or poultry or carpentry or even uh, farming, agriculture. And when you finish, you are now given a capital to start a business. So the, the, the educational system did not produce, uh, you know, non-performing or unproductive members of the society. We believe every member of the society is productive. The only thing is that the level of production varies from stage to stage as is gifted by God and nature. Now, no sooner we abandon you know, uh, the First Republic, we went into the Second Republic uh, with the military in charge. All those systems we were set aside and 
we now went into a kind of unitary kind of educational system. Again, gearing every child to the university, which we are not naturally endowed or gifted by nature. Again, here, there has to be a review of our educational system, a review in such a way that every child is granted, of course, opportunities to go to school, but based on her God-given talent or natural talent so that he or she can be useful to the community. So again, you see that in every aspect of our human endeavor in this country, we have our thinking that can move us forward. So I want to thank the governor uh, for this initiative. Uh, even before we have a formal review of our educational system, he has decided to review the educational system in Delta State. So once again, congratulations. It is my singular honor and privilege to have uh, to commission uh, this project, and I hope we can go around and see what has been done. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you very much, our incoming president. Can we put our hands together for His Excellency Elijah Atiku Abubakar? As he's now going forward, please, the children are already lined up. We we'll allow them. They will go there, call the tape to commission this magnificent edifice, and thereafter, they will unveil a plaque over there. And I'm sure His Excellency, our governor, is leading him and his entourage over there. Please, allow the children, allow them space. This is wonderful. This is beautiful. Equipment, thank you so very much. God bless you for the good works you are doing for our state. You will continue with it at the federal level as soon as you get there as vice president. We know that uh, this is awesome. It can make for any university, and I do hope that in some years to come, this will be converted to a technical university because it has all the facilities. The children are excited. Uh, you can see our incoming president having a handshake with them because he too is also a lover of education. He has his private university, and I know that uh, he has contributed immensely to the educational development of our country, Nigeria. And that is what he's bringing to bear at the presidency as soon as he resumes office as president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. To God be the glory. Today is a special day. And you can see the children, they are excited. They are waving their flags. They are seeing their incoming president and the vice president at the same time. It's not easy. Congratulations, children. You are lucky to have a handshake with your incoming president. I'm sure they have gotten there. Um, our incoming president will now make a brief speech and thereafter cut the tape and unveil a plaque and maybe do some guided tour. Wow. Uh, where are our to the glory of God and the educational advancement of our children, it is my singular honor and privilege to commission this technical college. Who do us together for our incoming president? He has caught the tape. They are going over there now to unveil the plaque. Oh, Cameraman, take your shot so that uh, our incoming president and vice president can move in there. I know that the former chairman of PDP is also there. Oh, our His Excellency Ushe Sekundus is there. Uh, the minority leader of the Senate. Distinguished. Our distinguished senator Philip Aduda is there. Yeah. Our export to the world. Our owner, Undudi Elumelu. It's also there, the minority leader of the House of Reps. Thank you, Undudi. We are proud of you. Continue with your great work, Undudi. And that is why that us are voting for you once more. Oh, our incoming governor. Congratulations, sir. Model Technical College Asaba, built by His Excellency Senator Dr. Ifanyi, author of COWAS administration, commissioned this 25th day 
of January 2023 by Atiku Abubakar Jisio and former Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party. Congratulations, Mr. Governor. Well done. Thank you. Commissioner.